What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle for the Nintendo Switch. Now, as usual, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how this game runs in TV mode, but I'm also going to be showing you how it runs in handheld mode as well. So sit back, relax, and let's find out if you should buy it. Alright guys, I'll be the first to say it, nobody asked for this, but there's no going back now because the rabbits have officially invaded the Mushroom Kingdom. However, this isn't your typical Mario game because down to its core, Kingdom Battle is a tactics-based RPG with a surprisingly deep and challenging turn-based combat system. But whether you're a veteran to the genre or a complete newcomer to strategy and tactics-based games, there's still a lot of fun to be had within the world of Kingdom Battle. There's a fair amount of puzzle solving and exploration in Kingdom Battle, and you'll spend about 20% of your time exploring the game's four worlds, searching for secret battlefields, and unlocking new weapons in the revolatory, but the remaining 80% of your time will be spent on the battlefield and in combat which is a good thing because the combat in this game is a lot of fun. The battle system does borrow a lot from XCOM, resulting in some pretty deep and satisfying gameplay mechanics, where hero positioning is key and choosing which abilities to string together is even more important. This means that you can pull off some pretty impressive moves on the battlefield if you plan your strategies effectively, which makes for some pretty cool and hilarious moments that never really seem to get old. You can literally reset your entire skill tree at any given time and respec your characters with no penalty for doing so. It might seem like it makes the game easy, but it doesn't. If anything, it just allows you to have more fun experimenting with different builds without having to stress about investing in the wrong abilities. From a graphics standpoint, Kingdom Battle is an absolutely gorgeous game, and it happens to have some of the most impressive visuals that I've seen on the Switch to date. Whether you're playing in TV mode or you're taking the game portably with you on the go, it seems to run pretty much the same minus the minor changes in resolution. I did, however, notice a few dips in frame rate through the exploration portions of the game, but it never really took away from the fun or experience of actually playing the game itself. Which leads me to the details, which there are a ton of. There's a ton of detail in Kingdom Battle. Everything all the way from the hilariously named weapons, all bearing interesting and unique skins, down to the vivid worlds and hub world that the game allows you to explore. The enemy types do get a little repetitive and leave you wanting just a little bit more, but for the most part, the gameplay itself never really got old, all the way through the course of my 20 hours of playing the single player campaign. I also really enjoyed Kingdom Battle's bosses and mid-boss fights, which in my opinion are some of the best parts of the game. Each one of them requires you to use really fun and interesting mechanics that I kind of wish the game had implemented more throughout the course of the entire story. Now Kingdom Battle does offer cooperative play with Split Joy-Con, however honestly it just feels a little silly waiting there with a controller in your hand for your teammate to make their move when you could simply just pass around one controller back and forth and essentially do the same thing. It's nice that it's there, but it feels like they just put it in there to have some sort of multiplayer component. I personally think it would have been a lot cooler and probably given the game a lot more longevity if there were an online PvP mode that you could come back and play. It would just give you all the more reason to keep playing the game. Because as of right now, after you do complete the single player story and the secret battle stages in each world, there really isn't much incentive to ever come back unless you're really into getting all those collectibles, which there are definitely plenty of. So with that being said, should you buy Kingdom Battle for the Nintendo Switch? Well, as I said before, whether you're a veteran to the genre or a complete newcomer to strategy and tactics-based games, there's still a lot of fun to be had here. It's a very unique and stylish game that brings a new twist to the Mushroom Kingdom. If you have a Switch and you like Mario and or tactics-based RPGs, then I definitely think you should buy it. So if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.